this project is part of Seven Trent Water's Water Framework Directive to reduce spills into water courses and local rivers. So we've built a storage tank here at Lower Penn, a two kilometre pipeline over to Warstones, and we've got to put a 250 metre cube storage tank in there and connections into an existing pumping station. Today we've got a backhoe loader here on site and a very special backhoe loader, it's a hydrogen backhoe loader. Well, the Flannery business was started in 1972 off a JCB 3C. Uh, we were on a large fleet of them still today. Uh, and the hydrogen machine is the moving next step forward. Yeah, I mean, we're here at the Seven Trend site here at Lower Penn in Wolverhampton, and particularly with this site where they're being quite rural and remote, limited um, power supply, hydrogen is a viable solution. The trial that's gone on this site here with Barhow and ourselves has been absolutely faultless. The machines work perfectly, there's been no loss of power. The driver's been completely happy with the way it's performed. It's, it's been absolutely perfect. Flannery is a family-owned, leading UK national plant hire company. The road net to net zero for Flannery is absolutely integral to Flannery's strategy. Um, Flannery has its own carbon reduction plan. Um, some key highlights being a 10% annual reduction in carbon emissions, a 50% reduction by 2030, um, and a pathway to achieve net zero by 2050 in line with the government ambitions. When talking to our customers, they're interested in sustainable solutions that are stable, that are available, and that align with their own decarbonisation policies. Barhill wanted to partner on this hydrogen trial. We feel it's a technology that will help us lower our operational carbon emissions whilst uh, limiting the impact on productivity and efficiency. In terms of what we've done here on, on site, we've applied our company-wide eco-site setup mandate, which um, ensures that we set our sites up in the least carbon intensive way. The hydrogen backhoe is 100% renewable fuel. Um, no fossil fuels involved, that's exactly the kind of technology our customers are asking us for. At Barhale, our journey to net zero is integral to our overall business strategy. As a responsible business, we feel environmental stewardship is paramount. That's why we've implemented a robust carbon reduction plan and we've set a 2040 net zero target. In terms of our progress to date, uh, we've achieved a 25% carbon reduction uh, since our 2019 baseline year. As far as machine testing goes, both engine and machine testing, we've done, well, heading for 60,000 hours now. Quite incredible. But the real test comes when we put it in the hands of our customers. How do they use them on site? Do they recognise that the machine works as it should? And more importantly, and what's critical to us now, is how we make the hydrogen, deliver the hydrogen, and refuel the machines on site. That's the process we've now got to perfect. We want to perfect a process that's simple, straightforward, and actually pretty normal when compared to today's fueling process. My experience of refueling the backhoe has been really efficient and effective. It's been really quiet and it's been really quick. Well, this, this stage with customers is, is the true test. We can do all we want back at base, back, at, uh, back in the facility, the JCB facility, but the real test is when we put it in hands with customers. And we're learning. You know, our customers are pretty blunt. They tell us exactly what we need to know and they've, they've told us one or two home truths and we need to move on, fix those and make sure that we create the perfect solution with our customers for our customers. So the backhoe has been loading muck away wagons, cleaning up the compound area, uh, moving materials from the storage areas over to the work area. The hydrogen backhoe has been performing really well. Um, it's been given exactly the same sort of outputs that we would have been expecting. It hasn't let us down on any tasks that it's done. We're absolutely delighted with the feedback from the operator today. Using the backhoe loader, it puts over that the machine is exactly the same as today's backhoe. No real difference, same pushing power, same dig performance, same uh, for manoeuvring around the site. Great solution and really people are starting to recognise now the machine is identical. The only difference is we put a different fuel into the product. Speaking to Lee, the driver that's been on this machine for the last couple of weeks, he's found it to be absolutely faultless. Lee's been a long-standing operative of ours, has spent many, many years on our 3CX fleet, 
And he said this machine's worked exactly the way that his diesel machine does. To operate this machine, it's it's pretty much feels the same as a diesel engine. I can't, to be fair, I can't really tell the difference, apart from the fact that it's a hydrogen fuel machine. Well, we're proving every day now with machines now on customer sites that hydrogen can be a real working solution. Absolutely perfect. Take machines, machines can work throughout the day. We deliver fuel just like we do today with, with traditional fuels. But it's a very straightforward process and we're proving that it works. This Net Zero um, product that we have here with the hydrogen backhoe, I think it feels like progress. Um, another milestone on the journey to carbon reduction and ultimately net zero. The main advantages from switching to hydrogen power would be zero emissions on site and being able to reach the net zero targets for the business. Hydrogen has the potential to reduce our scope one or our fossil fuel based emissions, our operational emissions. Um, and already today, you know, we've seen a 25% reduction um, in our overall carbon footprint, but hydrogen really has the potential to take it further, not just for us, but also for the wider industry.